the wages of life. Recently, workers in national restaurant chains held minimum wage protests across the country in something like 100 cities. They were immediately set upon by the corporate media. There were tack dogs snarling for their masters and nipping at their heels for daring to demand a living wage. For many people, it was a revelation. For workers in most restaurants are ununionized, at-will workers, meaning they can be fired on a whim for any reason at all. Many such workers can barely keep a home, pay rent, and eat on the meager pay they receive. Hence the demand for a higher, livable minimum wage. In 2009, the national minimum wage was set at $7.25 an hour, or $290 a week. At that rate, with a family of four, a person will be living below the nation's poverty line. That's why workers across the country have now demanded a minimum wage of $15 an hour. Predictably, the media attack dogs of capital were unleashed to bark two basic messages. That food service and restaurant businesses provide jobs for teenagers just entering the working world and that restaurants barely break even and cannot afford to pay such a wage. Interesting. But next time you're in a franchise restaurant, take a good look behind the counter. For there, more likely than not, you'll see a man or a woman in the autumn of their lives with gray hair, a bald head, a wrinkle or two, and bifocals. Secondly, the nation's franchise restaurants like McDonald's, Hardee's, Subway, and Kentucky Fried Chicken are among the biggest franchises in the nation. McDonald's, for example, has over 32,000 locations. Subway has over 34,000. McDonald's pulled in over $24 billion in 2011 and is the 111th biggest business in the U.S. In other words, business is good. There's another reason why a minimum wage hike of 15 bucks an hour makes sense. It stimulates the economy from the bottom up. The big bailouts following the Great Recession of 2008 and 2009 failed miserably to stimulate the economy. For it protected the assets of the wealthy, who had no incentive to share the wealth. They just sat on it, building their pile. It bailed out banks, not people. If poor and working people get a raise, they don't put it in a bank. They buy things. And let's face it, this is a consumer-driven economy. It's past time for a raise in the minimum wage, and 15 bucks an hour should be the very least to be accepted. From Imprisoned Nation, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio. I want to introduce the guest to my right. We got the esteemed guest, Dr. Andrew Hunt. Uh, introduce yourself, Mr. Hunt. Good Dr. Doctor, I'm sorry. Yeah. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here. It's an honor to be on your show. I've right. watched a few of them, and uh, I love how you guys just get right down to the matter and discuss things. <laughs> an open dialogue. Are you saying you're a fan of the show here? I, I, I've enjoyed the three different shows that I've watched, and it's been Excellent. really good, yeah. Right. And to his right, to future governor, we got King. Oh my goodness. Of the Hebrew Israelites. I am a servant, sir. I am the servant of Yah. Honored to be in this prestigious panel. Thank you once again. In the arena. You are the king. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I did not give that gavel and to his wife. We're gonna have the gavel man is gonna be Brother Yanga. Yeah, it's always a pleasure, man. Yeah, uh, sure. you know, it's always a pleasure to be here, and, and especially for this show. So I'm feeling a little under weather, so I hope everyone can bear with me, and I'm gonna try to talk as loudly as possible. Oh, it's gonna come out. Be, oh, it's gonna come out. The lion's gonna I hope come to, out. Yeah, it's gonna, the lion comes out <laughs> yeah. along with the sickness. I hope the comes out with the sickness. Right, exactly. But it's, it's always an honor and a pleasure, man, to be on the arena. You know how we do. All right, all right. Right on. Mr. Hunt. Candidate for the Libertarian Party? Yes. Okay, explain, explain. Of, of Georgia, no less, the governor of Georgia. You know, some big shoes to fail there. Yes. You know, uh, Georgia being the 13th state, the favorite state of, uh, it was King George. 
Yeah. This was his favorite state. Mm. <laughs> and the largest state east of the Mississippi. That's right. <coughs> wow. That's right. Wow. Absolutely. Yeah. What yeah. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. I had a question. What, I mean, we start out, most people when, they're, when they, you know, go into politics, they start out small. You start out as a councilman or this and that. And you and I were talking earlier, and you said, this is your first time running. Why governor? The issues that I want to address need that type of role and position to address. We have an issue with jobs. Georgia lags right. the nation in employment. We have higher unemployment than the rest of the nation. Education, the same way. Mm -hmm. We are a laggard in education. We need to bring our edge. We need to be a top 20 state, not a bottom 20 mm -hmm. state. That's right. um, then we have just freedom and fairness. There's a, so many unfair things that affect our liberties every day that we need to address and take care of. That the only way you can address all these different things is in the role of governor. Okay. 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 Now you mentioned jobs. You know, and I know earlier we talked about unions. You know, Georgia's one of them states that don't have unions, you know. And I know you expressed about, you know, unions to be a choice, and I agree with that. You know, I'm not talking about like the unions up with Guido up in New York mm. where you're forced into the union, but I think it should be uh, a union where people come together and, and voice their concerns about maybe, you know, wages and hours and benefits and that type of things. You know, what, what's your take on that? What says you? Well, I think that people should have the right to get together as a group and voice an opinion. Some people are quiet and shy and aren't able to voice their you know, opinions correctly okay. and they, you know, separate space. But absolutely no one should be ever forced to do something that they shouldn't want to do. Oh, boy, that'd be against our freedoms and yeah. liberties. That's true. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, you shouldn't ever be required to have a position to be part of a union. Yeah. And, and you should also be able to have free speech and open dialogue with management too. So, you know, management should be able to voice and talk to people and I think dialogue and conversation between parties is some of the most important and powerful it, things to do. Isn't that, isn't that relying though, though, we talk about the Libertarian Party and we talk about, you know, and you as being a, a business owner, you know, the CEO, I'm sure that that is a touchy situation with unions and things of that nature. But isn't that like if we don't have something in place to implement some fair act, isn't that like relying on the good nature of the human being? And haven't we been shown historically that man uh, through, you know, us as Africans here in America, you know, we can speak directly to those issues through the civil rights movement, through all the things that we've been through. Should we put our trust and our faith in just the good nature of men or should we rally for because some people for more government? Some people are for more privatization, less government involvement. Where does the African, I mean, how does that play out? You know, is that a, I guess basically what I'm saying is, can we really rely on just the good nature of man? I think the good nature of man is one of the most powerful things there are. I think by having government be quote unquote in charge of things, mm -hmm people then feel like they no longer have to take care of those things. Oh. And so that's what's happened. I think the good nature of man is fading away with time because mm -hmm. they're depending on government to do those mm -hmm. things. They're mm -hmm. giving up that right. I think you know we need to express more our good nature between each other. Now as far as jobs, okay, it's bad, the unemployment rate, in particular among the African American right. group. That's it's right. just terrible. Right. We need more jobs. And what we need to do is, did you know that government taxes an employer for creating a job? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And not mm -hmm. yeah. not an income tax, not a sales tax. Mm -hmm. There's actually taxes because you gave someone a job. Mm -hmm. That's wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. The number one thing we want to do is create jobs. Yeah. So you don't tax good behavior. <laughs> right. That's, you know, that's a wrong thing to do. But what but is the reason? Oh, go ahead. No, no, bro. No, I was going to say, well, what is, what is the reasoning or justification of the taxation of the jobs? I mean, you know, the government can say, well, you know, we need to maybe build more infrastructure, hospitals, you know, funding more, I don't know, scholarships for education. Yeah. But know, if you, Environment. Yeah. You know, safeguards like Georgia, we have a nuclear plant here that yeah. we've yeah. talked about. Yeah, yeah. You know. So, um, I think what we have to look at is the most powerful thing an individual can do for uh, choosing the work environment they want to live in mm -hmm. and be in and earn a living from mm -hmm. is by having more choice in which job and company they want to work for. Right. And if a company doesn't behave well, doesn't treat people right, 
Well, you simply leave them for another company. But that you can only do that if there's low unemployment. Mm -hmm. that there's lots of job openings. With lots of jobs openings, the bad companies will fail to keep their employees. Hmm. Oh, well, and if there's more, and if there's if if there's less obstacles, we're talking to the people that have obstacles, and this is for my women at nine to five working women, band the box. That's right. We're talking about um, when you're talking about jobs, and you're talking about a state like Georgia, right to work state. You're dealing with people who, in the African here in America, in the African American community, say are being uh, double penalized. They're being double. Not only do those who have been convicted of felonies, not only do they serve time, but when they come out. They have to sign a check that they have been convicted of felonies, mm. and in a right to work state, that hinders them, and and, and they're not they don't even have to explain why, they're um, they're not allowed to get this employment, and we're talking that the criminalization of black men and women here start as early as 16 and 17. Yeah. So when you you know when they come home, we're looking you know, and these are family men and sisters that have family. So it's putting them back into a criminal element, a criminal environment, some way to survive. So it's not that I advocate bigger government. But we see the need for a lot of these social programs came out of the greed of men and the hatred for uh, minorities or certain ethnicities. So is there a middle way to go? We don't want to go so privatized that we're just relying on the goodwill, the good nature of every, you know, everyone else. You know, is there a need for certain government programs to say, hey, look, especially like I say, and if you run for governor, one of the things that you will see me a lot on with the women from nine to five working women is the ban the box. And one of the things I will come, come to you with is saying something like, hey, look, I've served my time, I did my thing. Is there some way that me as a minority can be guaranteed the right to survival? Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yes. You know, food, clothing, shelter, that Absolutely. type of thing. Absolutely, that's what we need to get to, where all of those rights are respected. Mm -hmm. And we keep the, uh, uh, open and free system for people to be able to move around and choose the best job and the best work environment. And we need to have it that those doors, we need to change the culture of our state hmm. and nation. Right. We need to become a colorblind citizenry of Americans. And it doesn't wait, exist wait. right now. Hold on, hold on. <coughs> I need that gavel over there. Okay, let's slide this, <laughs> let's slide this to, the, to the original gavel, man. We always talk about a colorblind society. We're not, though. Okay, but uh, what I'm saying is, <laughs> oh, I'm not saying we're not there. <laughs> we need a wage blind society. We've been talk about the color, but when it comes down to it, you know, we got plenty of black people up in high positions. Yes. Getting, Big money. Big money. Yeah, right. Color and, and, matter. And, and, and sometimes extra money. Exactly. Both, both, exactly. Both, 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 <laughs> all the different people in politics. I'm not saying one group right. versus the other, but there's right. lots of people right. doing Get this at the back. high so, level. Yeah. I want to say officially here on Arena, not colorblind. We need a wage blind society. Mm. 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 You feel what I'm saying? Uh, I, we need to have it that people are properly compensated okay. for good work. Work, absolutely. And, right. uh, and, and mm -hmm. what does the best job of that is a free and open marketplace, one where rules and regulations do not inhibit the formation of businesses. Mm -hmm. We need it that anyone and everyone can readily start businesses. Yes. And that, there's some yes. laws that restrict that some yes. too, and that's against fairness. Yes. My, one of my platforms is fairness and freedom, okay? And we need to have fair systems. But and if know, their system is not fair, we need to change it. Okay, well, I know. Well, yeah. you know, it's interesting because, uh, first of all, I'm so honored to be on the set with you here in the arena, Dr. Hunt. And uh, the fact that you were a former triathlete, I mean. Well, decathlete. Decathlete, thank you. It is an honor because that's a whole level of warrior. Uh, obviously, you've taken care of yourself, and that, that's speaks to your leadership abilities because it starts with your body first and then spreads abroad. Now, and Brother Yanga mentioned about the criminalization of our children. Oh, uh, the issue, of my, he said 16, from my perspective and what I've observed, it starts in elementary school mm. with mm. the uh, drugs in our schools, which is one of the questions I want to ask how you would change that. Because uh, Ritalin now, they have these commercials on TV. If your son is taking Ritalin right. and he has breast, you should call us at 1-800-YOU'VE-GOT-BREAST right. 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 as a man. You know, so, I mean, when we look at what's happening in our school systems, 
where our children are being taken away, they're being drugged, they're yeah. being taken away from the human touch because of the computers, everything. They don't, they're not allowed to go out and play like mm -hmm. they used to. Uh, classes like music is being taken out of the schools as if music is not important. Right. So uh, that would be my first question. And then when we talk <coughs> about our present governor, uh, Nathan Gill, and we've really been trying, in the civil rights community I'm a member of, been trying to criminalize him based on uh, a lot of perspectives, but what I found out under uh, Tyrone Brooks' leadership in Gabio, which he leads the black elected officials organization, is that Governor Deal has hired more Willie had melanated people during his administration than any other governor. Mm -hmm. And you just spoke of jobs. So the two elements I would ask you about uh, uh, right now is first, the criminalization of our children, melanated, woolly haired children, which actually <laughs> are your children, because probably your grandmother was taken care of by one of our, my mothers, but we're all one family, as you We said. are one family. Boom. We are one people. Mm. We are Georgians. We are Americans. Go ahead, sir. Okay. But we need one way. <laughs> I'm sorry. So um, education is the key to opening up the opportunity of a person's life. If anyone inhibits a person's capabilities in their lifetime, that is one of the worst things you can do. Government, if government needs to do one thing right, it's education. Yes. Right. And make sure it's good and proper in all areas, too. Mm -hmm. We have some areas, the Atlanta public school system, where they graduate less than 60% of their students. Man. That I would call to the point of criminal. criminal. Mm -mm. It yeah. really is. Mm -mm. It's, yeah. it's that bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is though a charter school inside the same boundary that mm -hmm. operates in the same building that was one of the Atlanta public school systems mm -hmm. called mm -hmm. KIPP schools. Mm -hmm. They graduate over 93% yes. yes. of their students. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 85% of them get accepted to college. Okay. You, so now you're comparing less than 60% even graduating versus 85% being afforded the choice of going to college. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what we need. Mm -hmm. This is the same neighborhood, the same people, the same parents. Mm -hmm. It's bad education systems that we need to clean up in this state. Mm -hmm. We have some very good counties and areas that yes, do an excellent job of mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. We have one school that ranks in the top 10 of all high schools in the nation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we need to spread that around all the neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. We can't have it that certain neighborhoods have great schools right. and other neighborhoods have bad, bad right. schools because then we're hurting the performance of the state. Now, I don't want to let you off the hook on this issue of drugs in the school. Oh. And how we define good and bad schools, I believe, is also symptomatic of propaganda and uh, social engineering. Because when our schools were, quote unquote, bad, some of the most brilliant, talented geniuses ever to face the blessed the earth hmm. were reared out of those meager environments. So I don't necessarily equate the ability to ascertain information with a building or a structure or a piece of paper. It money. just makes it harder for them to achieve what they did. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Having the education uh, not at par with other areas. Yes, sir. It just shows what truly tremendous people they were. Not good, but incredibly good people Absolutely. because they had a lacking of education and they still rose to such heights. Exactly. Necessity okay? is the mother of That's virtue. showing the capability and talents that's there that we need to unleash. Yes, sir. And we will become a better nation and people because of it. Yes, well, Dr. Hunt, but you talked about how uh, the Libertarian Party, I'm assuming, wants less government, correct? Yes. But you know, historically, you know, uh, we talked about how you know, I mean, it wasn't just, it was just yesterday where federal government had to come in and kind of regulate and kind of get things situated down here in the South, you know, because we have to run our stuff. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, man? <laughs> so what I'm saying is that, you know, Not in, it's dirty. historically <laughs> speaking, you know, I mean, you want to get a nice, con constituent of voters, but when you talk about less government, then they're going to think back to state rights. And, you know, I know people might argue things are different now, but we still need that check and balance. Like, let me give you an example of Georgia here. You know, we talk about education, but nobody talks about housing. Mm -hmm. 
Georgia has one of the worst housing when it comes to mold, mildew, yeah. Mm, yeah. rotting, mm. just bad conditions. So we talk mm. about, yeah, education being a piece. What about when a child goes back to their home and their environment? Mm -hmm. You know, and they got black mold on the walls and they can mm -hmm. barely breathe. So mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, let's address not only the education, but the housing situation. We gotta get these houses up in order. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. But is that a right. feature and of government or is that the family structure working with this entity called the government? Because the government is just the wealthy that have created departments and divisions well, to control the poor. I want, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Pardon, go ahead. pardon. Because I wanted, wanted to address on what Sun was saying. Go back to what he was saying. We know historically uh, the Africans here in America start out Republicans exactly. through the Lincoln exactly. thing and this and that. Exactly. Okay? So we were all about individual pull yourself up by the bootstraps, less in government involvement. Right. But due to uh, whatever. Regulations. Re you know, the... What because was, the government back then was keeping you down. Right. The government was keeping us down then. But <laughs> I think when... when, when okay, but which government? Was the it state or federal? It was... Yeah, but see, we, right. back but then it, we had farms. Yeah, okay. We but here's, here's the point. Here's the point that I'm. Here's, okay, the, here's, here's the point that I'm going to. Especially when you had uh, uh, mass immigration up north and things of this nature, exactly. running from a lot of things right. that we needed. That we started to find out that that pull you like when we had land, you could pull yourself. And down Come the on. south, you could pull yourself up Come in the bootstraps. Right. When right. we started to migrate to the north, right. we started to find that this trusting on the goodwill of individual men wasn't always in the best interest. So you had this mass, I want to say, was it during FDR's time? Mm. This mass thing of going to the Democrats. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because the program, I think I heard, uh, I can't remember who they said. They That's said probably sisters. when they got, got that program where they took the man out of the house and started paying right. the women, women. So right. for Absolutely. the man they not to be they in the home us. under but, FDR. Uh, but here, Come on. Then they destroyed us. But here's, here's the question. Mm. Here's the question that I say this. Would it two? It's twofold, to, uh, Mr. Hunt. One, would it be advantageous for the Africans here in America, African Americans, to, like I said, they again trust the goodwill of men and to leave? Uh, like me, I'm, you know, I'm independent, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not with any of that stuff. Black people have historically voted Democrat because their grandmama vote Democrat. Exactly. They couldn't tell you no more about a damn Democrat. Than, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You were like, why you vote Democrat? Yeah, what, Democrat. Has it, what has it done for you? Right. What has exactly. it done? For you? Right. It's just what their grandmama voted. Exactly. It's what's been historical. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. The Democrats. It's Martin like, Luther King. Martin Luther King is like going in, the, yeah. in a black person's house in the South. You got Jesus, John F. Kennedy, and Martin Luther King hello, on hello. the wall. You know what I'm saying? So, and Martin Luther King's daddy was a Republican. Right. And, you know. So so. Here it is. So is it, one, what would the libertarians say? How would they really get us as Africans here to really take a look at leaving something that has been traditional and historical? And, and would it be down and dogs right. get down? And, and would it be sin. advantageous for us to do that? Yeah. First of all, don't overly trust other people. <laughs> <laughs> they made me with more dog. You <laughs> Absolutely. There's a lot of love. Out there. <laughs> there's a lot of very good career politicians. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Which is their career in life. Uh, yes, this is so, true. So, um, yeah, you, you have to look at everything and not always trust me. What you need to do is have all the opportunities availed to you to have a great life. And the freedoms and the opportunities need to be there and for all. Right. Okay? You need to be given, you know, the rights to do, pursue these lives, to find a great place of work, find ways that you can help other people, find your community paths that you can do and mm -hmm. contribute back into, and that people will help you too. But that's the over the rainbow perspective. Let's deal with what we're really dealing with right now because that's not where we are. We don't have the freedoms. We're being cut off at every hand. The internet now is the new realm for mm. targeting our children and Target. with this slim, thin man fiasco where the two 12-year-old girls lured another girl into a secluded area, stabbed her 19 times. So when we talk what? about this infusion of the internet, education, or the miseducation or the dumbing down of the populace, I think it's by design because we're being, the populace is being taught dumbed down for a reason. Yeah because independence has been taken away because as we talked about the food industry, oh, the man. farmers, we used to grow our own food. Mm -hmm. We used to have land where we developed things that would help support our progress and they were taken away from us. Mm -hmm. So we know that this government has an agenda and we wanna know how you gonna change the oligarchy or will you go alone to get along if you as a libertarian 
um, put in this lofty position. And then the, I have the one question with him, too. And is it important for us to vote? It's hugely important to vote. Oh, uh, no, no, he didn't. Gotta get, can you go? We gotta get you every show. Gotta get you every show. I don't wanna gotta get you. Because there, there are us in, in, in our communities that say that the political process is a farce for African, African American people. And I'm telling you that your presence here today proves that, you know what I'm saying, that it isn't a farce and that if someone comes out and is addressing you and addressing and listening to your issues and your needs and apparently they want to hear what you say. If it was a farce, then people wouldn't waste their time. So right. you, you would say that it's important for, at the, and I'm not even going to say vote, but at the very least for the people that have always had to register to vote and to be a part of the political process that, you know, that affects your surrounding communities and affects you. If you all don't, then you're really giving up your rights That's right. and no one will address your needs. Right on. <laughs> Well, well, see, can, I mean, well, you, see, you, you, let me address that because, okay. see, I'm a non, I would never, first of all, no disrespect to you, okay. sir, and your family, I would never vote for white supremacy or white privilege. Mm -hmm. That the, the antithesis of not voting for the system of oppression and those who are the captors of our ancestors and the takers of uh, our ancestors from the land is to organize from a uh, grassroots organization level, and that is the church. See, mm -hmm. our churches have been traditionally our areas where we began to build True. our community. Mm -hmm. The churches have been infiltrated. Through Christianity, we have been taken through the division of the myriad doors of Christianity. So the unity of our people is going to have to come around, not necessarily a uh, religious, <laughs> see, we, uh, a <laughs> religious order, but an awakening of the populace of what's happening under this militarized prison industrial complex that we res presently have, the, the change has to be we have to have clean air, clean water, and we've got to fight what, against the system. What are the we, we, have to, we, we have to change the system that's breaking up the families. Yeah. Thank you. Families need to be held together and not separated okay. by times in jail yes, uh, for victimless crimes. Bingo. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. We need to somebody. Vi victimless <laughs> crimes are the worst way to break up families. Yes, sir. Families are so important to the proper functioning of our society. Yeah. But what we you need to honor and respect that Let and me say stop that, that. briefly. What you just identified is what we're seeing in our community as our families are being broken down by the very government and system that the, you want to represent. The, I want to represent change in that system. I do not want to, re I do not represent that system. Mm -hmm. okay. I am against that system. Mm -hmm. And that is why I'm leaving my, left my company to come do this. I'm mm -hmm. here to serve. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am not here to endorse the current system. In fact, that's exactly why I am running, because the system is not fair. Mm. And it does not provide the freedoms that we should have as people. You know, I told you exactly. before the show, because you're a beautiful brother, you know, I said, you look like John F. Kennedy when you said that. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. John F. Kennedy had that same... See, there's an oligarchy, there's a ruling elite that is not going to let you, me, or God Almighty, they think, change what their destiny is to world domination. We're going to have to fight it together. Exactly. As a exactly. people. Oh, wait, there we go. There and exactly. I, agree people, yeah. I agree with you. I agree with you. But not joining their exactly. system. Not but joining. it's not about. No, no, no. no, no. It's not about joining. It's not about joining the system. This is what I always say. There is no way. Politics affects everything. You know, there is no way you can live in a land that has laws, that have government, and you can close your eyes, and no disrespect to my re religious people out there, one of the most beautiful things, if there is a beautiful thing about the country set up, this is a secular country. That's right. That you can come in here, you can be Hindu, you can be Muslim, you can be Christian, you can be whatever. You can be an but atheist. it's a right, right, an atheist. But it's about the rights of the people. The problem that we have is that we see government has stopped empowering the people. Mm. It is no longer for the people or representing the people. Right. So that what I, what I would advocate for every African here in America is that if you're fighting for your freedom, you're not limited to a fight. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You should do your businesses. We should get our own businesses. We should, should control the economics in our community. Mm -hmm. We yes. should control the education in our community. Yes. So if you yes. 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 yes, 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 yes. So That's if what we, you need right. to do. So if we uh, find, You need to run your own businesses. We need to run our own businesses. You need to hire your own people. <laughs> exactly. You need to make sure your schools exactly. are functional. That's right. So if we find you allies. Need to get involved. If we find, right. So if we find and allies and that, that are along. And I support that. Okay. See, that are along those lines. Uh -huh, that are talking about, like you said, this public, how public education is crippling us and right. harming us, exactly. and we're finding allies mm -hmm. or people that are along the same lines that say, hey, look, charter schools, Come on. allow them to control their curriculum, well, allow them to teach their children, then okay. we don't have to go through this thing. Mm -hmm. To be, in my conclusion, to be brief, mm -hmm. I know what he's talking about, Kip.
Mm -hmm. I have a niece mm -hmm. and a nephew. What's up, Queen? What's up, Jesus? Yeah, my nephew's name is Jesus. Wow. What's up, Jesus? <laughs> uh, and I went to, I was so fascinated, man. Uh -huh. I mean, I was blown away. Mm -hmm. They had a science fair. And what they did, it wasn't a science fair. It was Young Inventors of America, something oh, okay, like this. Okay. And they each and the children mm -hmm. worked on a team to invent a product. Right. And they was given a Morehouse mentor okay. to help them with this. Yes, and yes, my nephew yes. invented the helmet that you could, the bike helmet that you could, you know, put different stickers on the tray. And they had people from Walmart there. Okay. They, and they were asking questions. Oh. And the winner actually got to have his product looked at and see how it could be placed on the shelf. Oh, this is a kit excellent. program. Yes. You know yes, what I'm saying? And yes. I was just blown away by how mm -hmm. the whole, you know, how the whole thing was run. Mm -hmm. So what I'm looking at is we have to ally ourselves with people who are about empowering the people. Exactly. Who are about liberating the people. Right. Uh -oh. Who don't who uh, don't take offense. Uh -huh. Who yeah, who don't take offense that we say, hey look, love you man, but I'm African here in America. Hello. I got specific issues and I uh -oh. have specific needs. That's and right. I need to know, are you addressing those things for me? Yeah, we want people. Right. But and right. George is cool. <laughs> but you know, historically I've been boo-booed on. Hello. I've been trampled down on it. So I need Y to make sure that you're not me. following in the long line of that. Rocks thrown you know what I'm saying? And that's your thing, right. And that you have to do what I, I admire is technically. My thing, I sent out the question, would the other candidates come and sit down with us like this? Oh yeah. And rap to us like this, like Mr. Hunt. But this is one. So we send that invite out there to really address us because they they sure gonna be they sure gonna be pandering for our votes. You know what I'm saying? So we have to these things we have to take. TV ads, yeah. those radio right, commercials, exactly. and believe exactly. everything they say. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I wanted to say this: what? And, and my question to Mister: Why libertarian? Why not Democrat, Republican? Why libertarian? Uh oh, there you go. Because it represents the right path forward. Exactly. What we need to do is we need to get freedom. We need to have liberty in our mm -hmm. lives. Mm -hmm. Okay. And both the, the other parties, they're also both bought out to special interest Thank groups okay. and no big corporate interest exactly. and the establishment, okay? No. Both both sides are. And they right. and they both get money from the same groups. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Incestuous mm. is yeah. it not? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And so you need someone that's independent and free of that that will really look at it from a equal rights point of view. I mean a freedom and fairness point of yeah. view. Mm. Liberty and justice for Oh, hey, haven't we heard like that, that somewhere right. before, yeah. man? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Don't leave anyone out. Yeah. It's okay. oh. And they always say it's so That's beautiful. Like, you know, beautiful man right. your teeth. Yes. My yeah. Yeah. Well, see, this is a great the mice from the men right here. So it's about the place of the corporations, <laughs> Mr. Hunt. You know, they mm. voted Wait a minute. corporations of people now. Come on now. I was just when you ready to go there. There, there are so many great things that happen from our corporations. We just have to realize that, okay? Uh -oh. I mean, uh -oh. oh, he's been bought out. Uh oh. No, 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 I, I, I Somebody got out. He's been bought out. Hold on, boys. Wait a minute. Knock on it. Knock on it. Knock on it. Let me get this. No, he didn't go. Let's take it to Seattle. He's he's not trying to get rid of that money. He's going to wear. Come on. No, 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 no. Now, Dr. Hunt, I brought, you know, I warned you. Yeah. I said, you know, we talk about Monsanto. Uh -oh. The people said we want labels. Yes. Mm. The people. GMO. Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. And Monsanto said, you know, there, Dr. Hunt, you know, we run a fine company here. Yeah. Sure <laughs> that, uh, we don't get those labels. Yeah. They want. You can yeah. trust us. So it comes down to the people versus the corporations. Yeah. No, no, just no, no. We, we need to be an informed citizenry. It's people shouldn't hold information back. Labeling should be correct and accurate okay. on products. Okay. okay, that's that's real simple. But why okay? isn't it then? But but I'm talking about what about the computers? What about the nice cars? I mean, all of these is because of companies, governments. Right. Governments aren't going to make these kind of things. They're not going to make innovations. They're not going to make the world better. They're going to just. Not, uh, yeah, but yeah, see, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. no, we yeah. are. We're disagreeing. The computers okay. and the cars are control mechanisms for an industrialized carbon-based system that's on the way out. Listen here, mm. Gideon. I like the NSA. <laughs> I like it. Yes. Morgan, oh, I like knowing every keystroke on the internet. Right. When you, yeah. Yeah. I want to put a camera in your. As a matter of fact, right. I already have one there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think everyone can hear you all loud and clear. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the reality is, it's, it's what we're dealing with. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, what is it called? The Patriot Act. 
What yeah. is it? Oh, the endless war. The, 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 the things they label things. As soon as they label it one way, you know it's the opposite. The uh, patriot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> the affordable right. health care. Okay. Right. It means it's gonna be unaffordable. Right. Right. <laughs> they label it one way, you pretty much be sure it's gonna be the Absolutely. opposite way. You know. Well, Darren, what? Why? That's why we are jaded when we talk about government, specifically in the Hebrew community, black, colored, Negro, African American, whatever you call us this time. We're jaded because we know uh, historically it has not benefited right. us. Yeah. Even right. from the judicial seat, the seat oh, it's uh, awful. that's supposed to be uh, justice. Right. Find out homie been getting kickbacks yeah. from putting our children in jail. I know, that's so yeah. wrong. And the yeah. conformist Negroes, that's when they go into full blast, yeah. power protect mode. Yeah. Go protect the whole oh, hell, y'all calm down now. Yeah. You know, master didn't mean to put all these children in our children in jail. Just we're gonna work it out. Well, see, right. that's why we got a new party called the Coffee Party here. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. But, right. See, so when I get in office, government instead of growing every year mm -hmm. will be decreasing a little bit. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be a Wouldn't it be a great mean? place to cut budget? Would be in the prison system. Wouldn't that be a great place to cut some of the budget? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. As long yeah. as it, as, as long as as long as it's replayed that, like you said, it goes back to education. You know yeah. what I'm saying? A lot of the criminalization, a lot of the acts that are uh, that Africans in America do are perpetrated is because of lack of means of providing for themselves. Thank you. Right. We Come Education on, is Come the on. key to freedom and liberation. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And we have to educate everyone well. well everyone yeah. needs to have that as a basic right. Well, Gideon no brought up a very good point. Mm -hmm. uh, a show. He said, you know, we have a, across the country, a school to prison pipeline. So he was saying, well, why not have a prison to work line? Yeah. Back to the workforce. Meaning, I, why not I, invest in, you know, because Baltimore. I, I, I agree with that. I think okay. we should look at where, you know, education inside the prisons to help people transition back into regular lives. Right. You work right. with them to write up resumes, bring job interviews into the mm -hmm. uh, prison system mm -hmm. so people have jobs when they leave. But what but they, we presently have is corporations paying little and not training the prison but getting major contracts that they make billions off of it's wrong. while the people that are coming through the system get no training or mm -hmm. anything because they don't want to stop the recidivism rate right because it's all wrong. part of the system the, the yeah, system of the music which is yeah. why they so there is, that's why i'm saying john f kennedy you've got his look Beautiful just like him, probably have a beautiful wife like he did. He wanted to change this corrupt system and they shot a king down in broad daylight. Yep. And wasn't shy about it. Yep. But Gideon, they did change it. Yep. Look at the uh, they, But you know how I, I feel about this. Like what he said, you can't trust everything everybody change. says. You know you what I'm saying? I mean he was a lot I like Kennedy, he was cool and everything like that. But like I said, at the at the end of the day it's about pandering. You know, we have to look at, you know, the people come to us with all kind of things to get our votes and things of this nature. So we have to just be super, 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 super careful. Mm. One of the things that I did want to say about, uh, we talk about less government, which is important, but when a people are able to be self-sufficient. Mm. Right now, us as Africans here in America, we have to make sure that we're able to be self-sufficient. It's like what you were saying, the young men coming home <laughs> from prison they do provide some of those work programs. Some of them, they have trade schools, they have things of this, but, they, and this is not to knock private businesses. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, we don't have a lot of private businesses in our community. Yeah. But when people have private businesses, they have the right not to hire these young men and women. Exactly. So, yeah, we would advocate a uh, smaller government, like uh, Mr. Hunt was saying, you know, to decrease the government. Sounds good, but are we self-sufficient? Hmm. Are we what they say in the Gaza and Osama, Kuja Khalil? Can we practice that self-sufficient, that self-dependence? That's a great point. We need to transition this over about 20 years is the way I okay. look at it. And some things we need to keep and maintain the forever and ever. Great education and some other things like that. So everyone has the tools to attack life, to mm -hmm. live life, yes. and pursuit of happiness, mm -hmm. yes. and you know wherewithal, and feeling good about what they've accomplished. Mm -hmm. So we definitely, there's some parts that will always be there. Now, 
sometimes private companies do a better job of that than the yes, public yeah, because absolutely. in government there's a lot of corruption yeah. and people don't do things that are for the good and yeah, everything you. so yeah. you know we really need to have a check on that and then parents need to have the choice of where they get to send their children right. rather than being forced to send them to a bad school mm -hmm. they should be able to choose well here's a good school mm -hmm. and here's this school and i get to choose between the two that's freedom absolutely don't we want that the freedom of choice absolutely yeah look at grady i'm sorry go ahead oh no no but I mean, you mentioned corruption in government why not have a more transparent government? oh i love that <laughs> yes. and that's one of the things i've been talking to people about i'm glad you bring that right. up because what i will look at is i'm going to be requesting that certain bills be drawn up and brought through the legislature and brought to me for signature because okay. i want change mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. if there are people that alter those bills along the way Everyone needs to understand which senators or representatives or congresspeople are doing those changes. Mm. Yes, okay? Yes. If they're writing something else on a good bill, here's a good bill, and then they add other things to it that right. are special <laughs> interests and other things like that, yeah. we need to know who's doing that. That's Absolutely. Right. Now, let me and it you. needs to be on the web mm -hmm. and clearly stated who the people are doing these things. We need to have full transparency. Yes. So how would you handle this situation that we've just heard of, which I call vet scam, where we heard, just like the CRTT scandal with the school system, paperwork was being manipulated. But in this instance, not only were people getting kickbacks, but people's lives were at stake. Oh, Many mm. people have died across the state, across the United States, as a result of fraudulent paperwork paperwork indicating that individuals were being pushed through the system where they were coming in for certain types of care, but they were not being seen and they were being left to die. How would you handle this very tragic situation and corruption at the highest level in a system of inequity and injustice? Well, one of the worst things is they're treating our heroes like that. Yeah. These yeah. are people that were willing to put their lives on the line mm. for our country and freedom. And they're treating them like that. They, well, you say they, who is that they? The government. The government. Thank you for saying that. He tried to hide that. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was 100% the government. I understand where Dr. is coming from. He's saying, look, the Democrats and Republicans, they done sold out. So they're corrupt. He's saying, right, right, but he's saying government, but he's saying you want to go in and fix the government. They ain't well, do that. Well, what you do is you find new and better systems and ways of accomplishing. What if we had a system where you have a certain amount of money that's available to people that need good health care mm -hmm. because they're not able to afford it, okay? Mm -hmm. This similar type of pool, but instead of having the government run it and oversee it, you had it that the money was put into a pool that was available to individual doctors to have programs and then the people could decide which doctor they go to to get the right health care. Mm. There's actually a case that this would cut our medical expenses. The system could be done for two thirds the current cost and you have better service. Uh, you, how you gonna stop them from getting this money? You gonna stop this pimping? That's what the medical <laughs> system is, it's a pimp game. We know the government has charged, what, $500 or $50 for a hammer? Mm -hmm. All the with exorbitant pro overpricing. This is part of the system of corruption and capitalism. It will be a fight <laughs> to change the system. It will be a intrinsic. fight. But if there's enough of the people, and we the people let the government know we're not going to tolerate it anymore, and we voice our opinions at the poll. Uh-oh. It's got to be revolution, man. The poll, they flipped that one day. Wait a minute, what did they show during the uh, uh, Bush? What was that, Ford? Uh, the presidency where his... Uh, oh, I was talking about the Florida. Where the Florida right, yeah. come on, yeah. man. Yeah. You know they, fit, they flip the vote when they want to. The yeah. last, prior to this presidential election, when Bush's yeah. brother was down there in Florida, he won the popular vote. But see, then you've got what? The Electoral College. College. Yeah. yeah. The Negroes didn't know anything about the electoral college. But I, I'm going to tell you, I think that that's, you know, a lot of that is like what, what our old folks used to say, don't air your dirty laundry. A lot of that is due to our lack of educating our people. You know what I'm saying? We have to go in. We have to have shows like this. We have to get on. We have to do what you brothers are doing. Even if it's putting the heat on a little bit, uh, Mr. Hunt, and making them sweat a little bit uncomfortable, we have to do this because we have to go back and we have to educate our people. To be, I agree with you about revolution, but I think that revolution is like I said, I read France Fanon, The Wretched of the Earth, and France Fanon said you can't tell a man how to fight for his freedom. So you have to 
in in order to change your conditions, you have to use every weapon available in the political process. Going through, you know, we, we have to have our lobbyists. We have to have our people doing our things that speak for our best interests. And if we have someone in there that a uh, candidate, Kaké European candidate, Mexi uh, Hispanic candidate, whatever, whatever, as long as they're speaking to special things that direct us specifically, mm -hmm. we really should take, we should listen. Mm -hmm. And the same way we say, hey, we put your butt in there, we'll get your, your butt out. Right. You know what I'm saying? And take control of that. At the same time, doing the, you know, exercising our other options. You know, I'm a nationalist, exercising our other options of building our community up and empowering us as a people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we have to take advantage of everything because what ends up happening is government ends up changing, things change around us, and then we're affected. Suppose they do, do away with big government and everybody privatizes, but we still didn't build businesses. We still don't own the curriculum. We still don't have hospitals. Like you said, this pool, wonderful idea for the medical thing. It's not wonderful if we don't have African-American doctors mm -mm. that can say, hey, you know. There are a there. lot of very good ones. My wife actually works in the oh, medical there, field there, and there, there are, are like, some tremendous ones. Right, but, we, but one of the things we say on this show, our skin folk is not all our kin folk. Uh -oh. We have a, you know, we okay. have a, we have a, a president that has our skin folks and in some of the things he's committed a, a lot more crimes, no disrespect Mr. President, right. a lot more crimes than uh, the former president, uh, and President Bush. And nature. Right, uh -huh. exactly, because they're, they're President Bush. Yes, sir. You understand what I'm saying? But if we as African and people get caught up in the skin thing. Mm -hmm. We don't look at the drones killing on, American oh, citizens. Take it out of you know what head. I'm saying? Tapping our phones and things of this That's nature. Right. The expansion of bigger government and more government involved in our private and personal lives because they have an African American liberty, liberty, liberty. Right. liberty. We, we want liberty. We want liberty. We want liberty. So I think that that's one of the things we have to look at. And one of the things, I, what are you going to do about this traffic, man? No, ah! we have to take care of the traffic. Man, Georgia is terrible. Well, Atlanta is <laughs> terrible. Atlanta is terrible. I terrible. mean, traffic, the rest of the state's not bad. Man. Atlanta, we need to take care of the traffic. Mm -hmm. And there's absolutely things we can do about the traffic. Mm -hmm. There are key intersections that need to be rebuilt. What we don't need is a 10 to 15 year program that costs $40 billion and gives the money to all the special interest groups. Right. What we need is the quick implementation mm -hmm. of just lights that run to sequentially so mm -hmm. that you when you go you don't hit red light red light red light you know right. you hit green 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 right. because you know that's the flow of the traffic and sure. here's the speed limits mm -hmm. and computer systems that can help monitor and yeah. uh, leave traffic and that can be done and that can be done in just short amount of time and at a cost effective way too and mm -hmm. it's not done government is not functioning right well, I think that we need cost-effective solutions. Solution, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I think that if we begin to work more in concert with the environment, yeah. because rainwater, because of all the uh, concrete that we have in this country, in a, in Atlanta, the wash-off, the loss of topsoil. Uh, I mean, there's just so much involved with how we plan our communities and our cities, and because we haven't had an emphasis on the ecology of our environment. Mm -hmm. The health of our children has drastically diminished. We talk about issues of bipolar. We talk about the uh, children having certain autoimmune diseases, right. from plastics to toxicity, toxicity of our air. There are just a number of things. And when we talk about corporations, uh, we were looking at the bottom line for them. It's profit. That's right. It's the bottom line. Even when China, we uh, most favored nation status, sending all these children's toys. Uh, laced with lead. Lay, yeah. You understand? So when we talk about the diminished quality of the products, the amount of trash that's produced in this country, and the effect that it's having on our environment, what are your uh, thoughts as a libertarian about the ecology and the health of our environment? Well, part of liberty and your right to your freedom and your you know health has to do with the air and the water. Okay. That's right. Because if someone's polluting your air, they're acting against you. They're mm. taking an act against you. Right. They're polluting your water that you have to have access to. They're affecting you. They're taking your liberties and rights away, okay? Mm -hmm. So we need to make sure that we have clean air and clean water, mm -hmm. okay? And make sure people respect one another and don't want to hurt the air and the water. Okay, but how do you, what type of enforcement would you bring? There you go. Uh oh, there you go. Because he's made that sound so nice, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, he just go. kind of, he kind of floated all go. over that one. The good Willie. <laughs> it's true. I mean, it's a simple it truth. It is true. See, yeah. It's a simple yeah. truth. Application, however, let's get to application. We look at punishment and penalty on the arena. Oh, right. man. Right. 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 Well, that's because that's all you all ever see. Yeah, yeah exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's right, right, right. You want punishment and penalty? Because that's all they ever get.
give me his punishment and penalty. <laughs> Did you see him pick that up? He sure He sure are. He sure are. Right. That's the whole language the corporation picks up. Like, let's look at Norway. Yeah. Let's yeah. look at Greenland. Mm. You know, the they stole from the people, you know, the banksters up there, mm -hmm. and they locked them up. You're right. Mm -hmm. You know, but here Obama <coughs> didn't want to go to the parachutes. So exactly. <laughs> don't do it anymore. You're right. Yeah. 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 We're going to bail you out now, guys. We're going to bail you out. We're going to bail you out. Look now, that, that last party you guys had, you overseed it to all the expenses. Right. Yeah. You know, we just can't yeah. have that go public again. So, openness and full information uh -oh. is very important for the individual to choose which products they want to buy. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, first of all, we just can't let people just openly pollute, you know, things. We need to make sure that there is, you know, a good balance there. Right. And if someone is, I mean, there needs to be, you know, repercussions for that and ways of addressing it, okay? Stop, stop, stop! Okay, but the most important <coughs> thing is that the people understand that this corporation is doing this and then you decide to stop buying their product because of it. Well, let me make a suggestion. You don't want yeah. them to make money for doing those things? Guess how you stop them? You Stop don't it. buy yeah. their product anymore. Well, but we're not monolithic like that in our thought process. It's too bad. I mean, we, so what we have to have a republic works best with a well-educated citizenry. Mm -hmm. And well, that's what we need. We need educated people to make educated choices throughout their lives. You're talking revolution. Go ahead. Yes, I am. Yeah. I am. In effort. Yeah. People have to put out effort in their lives to have a revolution. And that sounds good, but why not have an elite inspection force go around oh. like Yang and myself, you know, and we go around these nuclear plants and we inspect ourselves. You can employ us and you can pay us for that. Well, there's, there's actually people who are trained and they inspect them. And, you know, we, we it's so been a... Why not train <laughs> us? Well, but see, this is the okay. issue of the nuclear plant. And I wanted to know what your thoughts were about that because right. they are forcing us to pay for a, a plant that hasn't even been built yet mm -hmm. through your electric bill. It isn't about your vote, sir. Yeah. It's that, it, are you getting your electricity from Georgia Power? Yes. Well, you will pay this additional fee. As a libertarian, how would you attack that? And, and because uh, suppose you don't believe in nuclear energy. You need to deregulate. And the impact in the Georgia environment. Too, right. Once again, there goes that word, the environment. Yeah. Well, I mean, libertarians don't like monopolies. They don't like collusion. Mm -hmm. Where you, It's a free enterprise system is what you're supposed to have. So if multiple companies come together and fix prices, that's not the free enterprise system. Mm -hmm. exactly. You have to have open competition mm -hmm. without people mm -hmm. trying to put it to the consumer. Mm -hmm. So we have to stop and make sure that we don't have that going on. So those are areas that the libertarians believe in the free enterprise system. Mm -hmm. The free enterprise system works when you have an open competitive marketplace mm. and not collusion. Oh yeah, they definitely won't let you up in that Dr. home. You Dr. 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 Like, like yourself being a libertarian, just like I want to uh, say uh, Ron Paul, you know, I think you guys right. have to concentrate on making a more transparent government and a more transparent voting process because it seems like you guys are getting snuffed out. Exactly. Right. They always yep. do. Right. Absolutely. You guys are getting snuffed out because I mean, yeah. I, I, I like what you're saying. I like what Ron Paul's saying. It makes sense. Well, somehow you guys getting don't snuffed. They're getting snuffed out. Yeah. One of the reasons they get they're getting snuffed out because and just be frank, because they they are like and no disrespect they're like friendly Republicans. Exactly. <laughs> No, you know, they will just, invite man. you to home for Right, you know what I'm saying? They're cool. They're like empowering all well, the I know what it's like to be a minority. Okay, yeah. so, right, exactly. So it's, 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 no, you have to explain. I'm being yeah, quiet. I'm gonna I got to hear that. How, that. How, how, that? How is it that you like, know what yeah. it's like to be a minority? Well, I'm a libertarian. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay, continue. Oh, they, 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 they have certain rules and laws yeah. that inhibit access to the ballot. Yeah. Okay. Only right. the D's and R's can get on the ballot yeah. of all the different races See, in this state. That lets you know right there. Yeah. So there are collusion. No, there are definitely laws and rules that exclude or against right. certain people or sectors of people. And those are the ones we have to address and well, take care of. Let me ask. And when I get in office, because enough of people are going to come together, they are That's upset right. enough. Both the D's and the R's, they right. come from both sides, yeah. Yeah. because right. they're tired of 
the buyouts mm -hmm. and the sellouts, mm -hmm. and they want an open and but transparent isn't that America. Government. Is that not America? That's what, no, it's what America's become. That's what it's it not what it was meant to be. Okay. Well, let me. Let and me we say need that, to get it back to where it was. Because we have to be. like, well, like ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. give Let's give uh, Dr. Hunt like three to four minutes. Why a vote for you would be the right vote for Georgia? Why? What, let's give you three minutes uh -oh, to really uh -oh. lay your spill out hey. and really hear what you have because we on. appreciate you coming on and answering the questions, Absolutely. even the tough questions. Uh -huh. So we want to give opportunity uh, for you to say why a vote for you would be the best vote, vote for Georgia. Well, our current system makes it so that we only can choose the D's and R's and peoples have been making those choices. And we can see where it's gotten us. That's right. Okay? Government continues to grow. Government continues to infringe on our life and liberties. Mm -hmm. They're not providing the basic services properly that we're supposed to. Mm -hmm. There is corruption. We're hearing it all the time. All these different ethical cases, payouts of people of a million dollars to keep them quiet mm -hmm. on issues that are out there. And we have to stop that. We have to make a different choice. People need to say enough is enough. All, less than 20% of the voters went to the poll for the uh, primaries mm. because they don't want to vote for any of these people. Mm. Okay, but they need to know that there's a third choice. The press is going to try and keep us out. They're going to try and keep us out of so many different ways. We have to build the name recognition and let people know that they have a valid third choice. Someone who has a PhD from Georgia Tech, ran his own small business, can understand the problems, solve the problems cost effectively and reduce the regulations and give freedom, make systems fair, make sure all the rules and laws are applied to every sector in Georgia equally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No f unfair burdens on any part of this uh, citizenry at all. Okay. We are one Georgia, we are one people, mm -hmm. and we need to behave like that and act like that, and our government needs to represent us correctly that way. All right. Wow, okay, Impressive. do we give him a hand or what? Oh, oh, your man? Is that proper? No, okay. Oh, man. Oh, wow. I mean, he just wow. made a little statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Did we buy it? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Come election day. Yeah. All right, right. We're going. Yeah. Right. We're yeah. gonna, uh, and, and, and don't worry about the media there, Mr. Dr. Hunt. The arena scene worldwide. Good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, YouTube. See, it. the internet levels playing field. Yes, it does. Yes. So, NBC, Fox, we don't worry about all that here in the arena. Yeah. <laughs> that's know, right. So, by you coming on here, that means that's going to have to turn pressure up on Dale and Carter. Mm. Because by you being on here, that, that speaks volumes. There. Yes. Well, it's been an honor being here. You guys are just fabulous. Oh, I love oh, the exchange oh, and dialogue. Thank you thank all you. are great citizens because you care. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, see, I haven't reached citizen status yet because I know I'm a descendant of slaves, and we know that citizens have full political rights. We do know that the civil rights of the so called African American, Negro, colored have been jeopardized, and they have civil rights groups that have been trying to fight for equality in mm -hmm. the civil rights and political arena ever since we came on the boat. Mm -hmm. So the reality is we don't have full political rights. Let's work on it together, okay? Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. But for no me, man should feel a, that way. It's a spirit. No man See, should feel I'm, I'm about the spirit. Here we go with the spirit. And the spirit oh, tells me that you are a powerful leader, that the righteous and justice and equality that you espouse comes from your heart, and that yes. is a beautiful thing. And I believe at the end of the day that the creator is going to allow right thinking people to come against to fight against the oligarchy, the ruling elite, those who would use carbon based fuels and technologies to debilitate the earth, to destroy the air quality and our water, and that would use profit, a material artificially created item to uh, subjugate the quality of humanity and the fact that humanity has been devalued in this capitalist system. So I would never vote for white privilege or white, premise, white supremacy, but I respect your candidacy, your leadership, and the family that you represent as a governor, as a, a one who's running mm -hmm. for the race of governor in Georgia. And I would advise everyone out here, you know, that heard uh, Dr. Hunt, that is involved with the political process, accountability. Hold not elect officials to accountability. Amen. Um, going, you know, talking to them, seeing what's going on, following them, keeping up with, and making your voice, making your voice heard. If you have one of the things 
that uh, Brother Gideon was saying, historically in our communities, the churches were the center, the nucleus of the community where even the politicians came to address us. So we have to start holding accountability, having our politicians come to address us, asking the tough questions like we did of Dr. Hunt, uh, uh, demanding transparency and forthrightness in their responses. And just, there again, to end it all, man, accountability, holding our uh, elected officials to accountability. Right, and I'm gonna say to the people, or the candidates of Georgia, you gotta come through the arena. Got to. Uh -oh. Mr. Steele, yes. Mr. Uh -oh. Carter, uh -oh. see, man, Carter ain't just gonna let you fly by nope. the arena. <laughs> the <laughs> challenge, <laughs> put down that gauntlet. The challenge is made. <laughs> Deal and Carter, right. we want you here. <laughs> the <laughs> arena, right. face him. <laughs> I gotta go through the gauntlet. Yes. Did yes. you feel that testosterone? Yeah, exactly. so, right. I mean, we, are, we love it. I mean, the reality is that we are family that are yeah. humans that need to work together human family. and race toward dignity, justice, and equality. Yes. yes. That is the race that we need to promote. Yeah, and that's what you represent. And that's what we've been talking about. This issue of fairness and equality, miseducation, prison industrial complex, military oh. industrial complex. All of these elements come into a very uh, a complex array of issues that we have to deal with. But through love and acceptance and having a systematic agenda. See, I believe at first, for me as a so-called descendant of slaves, I have to identify who I am to this government. That's right. That's who I am, not who they say I am, Negro, colored, black, right. African American, I am, who I am as a Hebrew <coughs> Israelite, and then have the government respect me from that perspective versus the social security number that they gave me. Mm -hmm. All right, what that Right on. Right. We Somebody get him some water. Oh, <laughs> Spies and put him out. Oh, no. We're going, uh, uh, we're going to do a show on, uh, 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 we're going to come back and do a show on, what are we going to do a show on? What are we going to do a show on, man? Man, oh, man, we're going to do a show on, Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 That's right. Well, Why you know, everyone should vote libertarian? That was it. And vote for Dr. Hunt, Hunt. Dr. Right. Andrew Hunt, <laughs> in the upcoming <laughs> gover oh, what is it, gubernatorial election. Yes. 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 Uh, yes. Right. Did that come out of my mouth? I like You're right. I'm never voting for a governor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right. Choose, choose the career politicians that are bought into the system that everyone wants to break, or someone that wants to that's not part of the system that wants to break the system. Ah, it's your choice. A maverick. Yeah. It's your choice. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, and then, but if God's a will that I get into office, yes. I'm going to need all of you all afterwards because mm -hmm. I'm going to be one of the few libertarians in office. And exactly. it's the people that I'll need to stand behind me. Oh, so yes. I'll be calling on you when I want to make these changes that we're mm -hmm. talking about here. Mm -mm. And I'll need you all to sometimes come around the mm -hmm. Capitol and say, yeah, all friendly and peaceful. But uh -huh. yeah, we, we believe in this. Gosh, we do it. Well, we're, we're, we're out. out. <laughs> <laughs>